For those that haven't seen it already, um, this is the, the Leica TRK uh, 700. All right, so what I can do, I could just show you around the unit now. So if you want to just follow me, it's like MTV crib style. So we've got the TRK itself here. Um, we've got the dual head, laser scanners on the on the uh, rear side there, both at di different angles to give us that sort of mesh um, cross function of point cloud data. And we've got a, a slam sensor on the rear and a slam sensor on the front there. All right, these are sort of like uh, to help with the accuracy of the data during the processing phase. On the top here, you can see the 360 degree panoramic camera. Um, it's got a lens there on the back, a lens on the front, and that'll give us our 360 images, um, which we're trying to put into the platform. And then we've got our butterfly cameras on at the moment. We've got our left on the other side, right and front, and there is uh, another one for the rear, uh, but we don't need that, that sort of, for sort of any sort of road condition surveys we need to do. So just follow me around. So here we've got the second GNSS unit. We use this during our sort of cityscape um, data capture projects. Uh, this is just to give us um, as many satellites as we can, because as we're going through these high featured buildings, um, we're losing satellites um, quite often. Currently here, open skies, we'll probably have around 33 satellites. But as we start going through the city, that'll be reduced to eight, sometimes zero. Uh, so we counteract that with the, the second GNSS unit. And we also litter the place with control um, and then we try and get the data as accurate as possible. So inside the car then, we've got the controller unit itself, as you can see, uh, the car's pretty full. And then we've got the batteries to the rear of the, uh, rear of the uh, in the boot, uh, along with the TRK box itself. 